We are brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today, the 27th of November, Holy Mother, the Church celebrates St. Virgilius the Confessor. St. Virgilius of Salzburg was a scientist from Dublin in Ireland. He was born near Agaboy, a place in Ireland. He was known as the geometer because of his knowledge of geography and he was a scientist ahead of his time. In 743, he left Ireland for a pilgrimage, but he could not reach Ireland and he just could reach Pepin, the king, the father of Charles Magne, Charles the Great. In 745, it was Pepin who sent him uh, to St. Peter, the monastery of St. Peter, uh, where he wanted him to be the monk, the abbot. Contrary to the continental tra tradition, uh, in Ireland, the abbot was above the bishop. So the rule was basically of the abbot. So Virgilius later was consecrated on 15th June 767. Early on in Salzburg, he had locked hands with St. Boniface, who was the Archbishop of Germany. And because of his vast knowledge in astronomy, geography, and anthropology, he was put down, he was looked down, and he was looked as an heretic. But later, when he was questioned, Virgilius was able to defend his thought. The greatest achievement of Saint Virgilius was the conversion of the Alpine Slavs and sending missionaries into Hungary and other places where no missionary had ever gone. Returning from preaching mission to a distant diocese, he fell ill and died on 27th November 784. The discovery of his grave later in 1181 led to his canonization by Pope Gregory IX in 1233. Virgilius was a learned mind, a mind who, which had a lot of knowledge about the world, yet a mind which was totally convinced of the truth of Christ. If I am really convinced of the truth, then the knowledge of the world will only help me in my conviction. But if I am not convinced about the truth, then the knowledge of the world seems to question my faith. And many people, let me tell you, dear brethren, have fallen in their faith because their conviction in the truth was false. God bless you all.